Shabbat Shalom, L'chaim, L'chaim, Chag Purim Sameach. I was listening to a shir, a lesson by Rabbi Y.Y. Jacobson, who was trying to explain the idea of Purim, why it was so miraculous. He says the big idea of Purim is that everything happened within nature, right? We know that. And so he gave some examples. He said one great example of this, of the miracle of Purim, which was an afokhul, everything went to the opposite. Haman wanted to do this. The Jews were in a bad place and everything turned over. And in fact, the Jews ended up better after this whole story. And so he says this is similar to a black hole. A black hole is exactly what it is. It's just a hole that is just black. But it appears like there's no light there, when in reality, it's the opposite. There's so much light in this place and the gravity there is so strong that the light is not able to escape. So really, it appears like one thing, blackness, like emptiness. But in reality, it's got so much light and it's so intense and so powerful. And we just don't see that. And I was listening to a talk by Rabbi Zamir Cohen, who's given examples of how we have miracles within nature today and how we don't really take note of them. And so he explained a story. This is just one example of some soldiers that the Israelis sent into Gaza and they got into a bit of a riff and one of the guys got shot and he knew he got shot and he was feeling around because he didn't exactly know where but he knows he got shot and all of a sudden he looked down at one of the grenades that was hanging from him and he saw that there's a bullet lodged in it apparently he had gotten shot and it went into the bullet into the grenade and it didn't explode So not only is it a miracle that the grenade didn't explode, but also that he got shot exactly there and was saved. And the story goes further where they were out there in Gaza and a terrorist was running at them and he had a bomb vest on. He was going to explode, suicide bomber. And thank God one of the boys saw him and shot him, killed him. And they got out of there. They left. And so all the other terrorists or other, I don't know, the other people came and collected the body to have a levaya, to have a funeral for this terrorist. And the only issue was that they forgot to take something off of him. It turns out this terrorist decided to take some of his friends with him. And the vest went off at the funeral and, you know, thank God for us. And so what Rabbi Zamir Kohn was trying to explain and what the whole idea of Purim is really trying to explain is that these miracles happen within nature all the time. And it's important for us to recognize them and to call them exactly what they are, miracles. Because the point for us is that this will change our life. All of a sudden, things don't just happen by circumstance. Your life becomes the Purim miracle. And the whole point of Purim is happiness, simcha, joy, and all the great miracles that happen all the time in our life. So it's important to recognize these things. And please, God, we should recognize all the little miracles that happen in in our lives all the time, every day, within our families, within our relationships, within everything. Shabbat shalom, l'chaim l'chaim, and chag sameach.